All right, guys, it's been a while since I did a video. Haven't got a whole lot more done on the old Plymouth here. So my old running boards on the floor down there. I actually come up with another pair of running boards. The reproduction steel boards. Someone had to put some rubber on this one at one time. Maybe the other one on the other side here. This one has no rubber on it. In very nice shape. No dents. Picked this pair of boards up. Very cheap. Fraction of the cost of what buying a uh, new set of reproduction steel running boards would be for this car. And actually less than the cost of materials for me to make a set of running boards for it. So that was a good find. Other than that, haven't done a whole lot with the old Plymouth here. That's one of the projects in the shop. Some welding projects and so forth, boring stuff. I haven't made any videos on those. I'll kind of touch on this right here, these tool cabinets. I went to a sale and bought a couple tool cabinets. Already got some stuff on them. Very cheap, $25 a piece for them. $25 for this one. And I've been looking at a small roll around. This is a Craftsman bottom. Three drawer bottom. So I made the small slide out bins down here, which I'll probably keep these in here. Put tools, power tools, so forth down here. So I'm trying to get these worked into the mix here in the shop. Save me some steps. The other thing I've been doing is I've been taking everything on my hardware stock, putting everything in bins. All this stock I had in my old barn in my other garage. So having them over there in the other garage was like I would just have to go and search for them. I didn't have easy access to any of my hardware. I have boxes and boxes of stuff that I've been sorting now. Everything sorted out by what it is, so I can put everything in bins. So much stuff. Some more bins over here all loaded up. A hey, box and boxes. So you just try to get everything brought over and stored away here. Try to put everything in in places where I can have it. And my uh, stock at hand and know where things are at. I'll put all this on one of the benches. Anything to make life easier. That's kind of what I've been up to, guys. So as we work more in a car or make some more videos, uh, I'm going to include my favorite tool in this video, favorite car movie. So there you have it for right now, guys. If I make more videos on the car, we'll post them. Alright, since George tagged me for tools, I'll show you one here that's one of my favorite tools. Right here. Not exactly, I guess, a shop tool. But I'm going to tell you guys, here in Ohio, you get a lot of snow in the winter. It sure does save an awful lot of shovel. Keep saying I'm going to put one snow blade on my old truck and I haven't done it yet. So for now, this is it. But one of my favorites. There's some more guys. These are my dad's and grandfather's tools. They're antiquated. I don't use them. The old hand drill. The bringer. There's a corn planter. A grow plow. Again, I don't use them. I just got them hanging up here in the old barn. But they're some of my favorite tools. I guess because they mean something. Favorite tools, you know, I could say a whole bunch of different kinds of things, you know, drawers are just packed full of tools and well, what do you like, you know? I've talked about these before, you know, these plastic tools. 
They're used for uh, door panel, trim removal. They don't really mark surfaces. I've talked before about uh, trim pliers and tools, you know. Things of that nature, they make the job a lot easier. So we could uh, dig through all these drawers and come up with a whole bunch of different things, I'm sure. Uh, a lot of tools would be things that other guys have had. You know, I talked about these before. These are uh, hose pliers. <coughs> Pull hoses off once you take the clamps loose. Very handy. Make the job real easy. Of course, a big crescent wrench. I always got to have one of those. Um, all kinds of ratchet wrenches, um, everything of that nature. I mean, I, I like all that kind of thing. And again, I could go over and over all the tools and power tools, impacts, you know, your name and anything that makes life easier. You know, this box right here, you know, everyone's got a favorite handle. Well, this one right here is my favorite handle. It's an old body hammer. It's just something I really like. Um, these are older body tools. I bought these tools at a sale many years ago. I think they're much better quality than any of the new stuff today. You know, there you go. <laughs> Here my tools. Get some focus. See if they were made in the USA. Again, everything is just uh, better quality. Seems like than anything today. Here my numbers there. All this stuff was, you know, dollar, two dollars each. Sale. Right there, one dollar. That piece. Those are some of my favorite tools. You know, things that make uh, life a little more easy. But here's one of those, and I've mentioned I think this before too. If you do any spray can paint at all, one of these Rust-Oleum spray can handles, it will make life much better for you. Two little grips right here. That's all it does. Simply uh, squeeze them down over top of the top of the can like that. That locks it in place. And it just simply, when you push down here, it holds the nozzle down. Very nice little tool. But right here, I think tools that mean the most are things that were handed down. You know, these are my dad's tools here. Mm, they're just little simple things. I've got a lot of his tools, but. You know, when as a kid, you know, a roll like this, you can never touch. He wouldn't let you play with them. You always wanted to play with them. And here's why, because he would always break. We worked at a uh, lime and boat plant in Ohio together. When I was young, he, had, he worked there sometimes. I went to work there. I shared in some of his tools. When I was young, he was starting off in the workforce. His old tape measure, you know. And something like this, a little book like this. Uh, measurements, specifications for the boats that he had written in, uh, time sheets and worksheets, things that I used on the job when I was there too. Just things that mean something to you. So I don't know, I guess that kind of covers it for me. I guess I really don't have uh, an exact tool that I would say is my favorite tool. You know, a lot of times I'll go out on a job and tool bag here. Usually so heavy, I can hardly carry it. You know, I'll take that with me. You know, um, I've talked about other things before. You know, an air ratchet. I didn't love my air tools anymore. Any of my air tools that make life easier and better. So I guess that kind of covers it for tools with me. Um, you know, I do. I'm, a, I'm one of those people that likes tools too. I mean, bought many tools over the years. These toolboxes are very heavy. Sometimes when I have to move them, I'm afraid to roll them. So that kind of covers it for me and the tools. Thanks, George, for the tag. I'll have to look and see who I don't think has been tagged yet, and we'll pass it on. I know yesterday, I mentioned these roll-arounds. This is something else, you know. I know Tommy Shu talked a little bit about this, having the tools close to wherever you're working. It used to not bother me, you know. I could be working here on the car, and toolboxes are over there. Well, trips back and forth, you know. 
didn't bother me. Today, it does. 30 trips, 40 trips a day back and forth to that box can be eliminated with this, so that's why I picked this little box up. I want to house, uh, probably put my body shop tools in there, some power tools on the bottom that I commonly use, and then an assortment of other hand tools in the drawers. I'll put a piece of plywood on the top and be able to work on the top, the top of the shooting it also. This cabinet. This is going to be uh, uh, body shop supplies. I've got some stuff on it. I don't know just how I'm going to finish this one off yet. Uh, I'm going to put my paper machine on here. I think I'll put a flip out leg on that so I can operate it right off the either back or side of this cabinet. Uh, I don't know how to say again how I'm going to do it. It's going to again, it'll make life easier. And some of these air tools may go over there in the other cabinet. We'll see how I do with that. That was the idea with this one. And again, a little bit of a work top up here. Um, when I bought this, these doors were gone, but the hinges are still here. So I'll probably uh, make a set of doors, put doors on that section also. So that kind of brings you up to date on the cabinets and where I'm at. We'll uh, make more as we go along. Mail call time too. I think everybody knows who these gentlemen are. Thank you very much, Tom. I'm gonna get you up on the hood. Very cool sticker. Of course, Bob here, the Ice Man. His Dotsons. Very cool. I thank you guys very much. Um, I get you on the hood over here. Take another little bit, but uh, you guys up on the hood. Everybody, be sure to check out their channel. Alright, here we are, we're back. Here's the uh, YouTube garage hood. Welcome to the hood, Tom. Bob, Everybody go and check out their channel. Thanks for the stickers, guys. Hey, welcome to the hood. Give everybody a little shout out here. Let me go grab this phone up. Alright guys, off the phone. Get you to give everyone a little air time here. Alright guys, there you have it, Two garage hood, welcome to the hood guys. I'm going to kind of fix all these up, I've been slack on videos here, slacks on making them and I'm hitting on the uh, favorite car movie thing on this one too, you know, I got the TV out in the garage and DVD and VCR and all kinds of car show and custom car and hot rod videos and everything in the world in here. I've got a bunch of car movies on VHS and on uh, DVD also. Um, I guess my favorite car movie was probably American Graffiti, you know, I'm sure that's the popular, one of the popular choices. Of course I loved Hollywood Nights. I love the uh, Project X yellow 57 Chevy that Tony Danza used in Hollywood Nights. Um, uh, Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, the yellow charger chase scene, that was always one of my favorites. I liked all the other ones too, you know, Bullet and Vanishing Point, all, all the ones, you know, Killing Black Top, they were all great movies. But yeah, probably American Graffiti, of course, and I said Hollywood Nights, I really like those too. Um, uh, Anthony, HO Motorsports, he kind of touched on a few other things, you know, when I was a kid growing up, Speed Racer. 
I had to watch every episode of Speed Racer. Couldn't miss that, you know? Get home from school and the first thing you do is go turn on, like Anthony said, the old UHF TV channels. It was channel 43 out of Cleveland here in Ohio for me. And play with the rabbit ears and make the, uh, make the TV come in, you know? Get, try to get the fuzz out of the picture. But yeah, Speed Racer as a kid, that was one of the big things. And of course, the, uh, the Munsters. Like the Munsters. Love the music on the show and just love the cars. I love the Munster coach, George Bear's built car, and the Dragula coffin car. Love that one. So, I don't know, I guess that kind of hits it for me in the TV cars. You know what I really liked? The ones that I really did like the most. So that's that segment. Like I said, I hate to combine them all in one video, guys, but since I'm so far behind, it's probably about the easiest way for me, so. Um, yeah, I guess that about does it for that segment. All right, guys. All right, guys, to hit the computer. I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that is pass on the uh, show your favorite tool and your favorite car movie time. I'll bring up some people I've got here in mind. <coughs> some of the ladies in the YouTube garage. Andrea Brady. Share your favorite tool and favorite car movie. Kill 71 Nova. Angel. Betty Jean. Tom Duncan's daughter. And Mr. Heavy Chevy's better half, Mrs. Heavy Chevy. Get some of the ladies in the garage here on, on this and see what their favorite tools are. Your favorite car movies are. Alright, there you have it. 